Hey guys, Joe here from Design by Octa, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to upgrade graphics cards. Um, the very first thing you guys are going to need to make sure you do, outside of having the proper equipment, such as choosing the graphics card you're going to put in, and making sure you have a compatible power supply, a lot of store-bought computers will not be able to handle larger um, aftermarket graphics cards. You usually need at least a 550 watt or greater to install heavy duty graphics cards. So, um, first thing you need to do, and this is going to have to be done in both Windows XP, Windows 7, um, as well as Windows Vista, go to your device manager, go to display adapters, and you want to disable your previous graphics cards, whether it be onboard or dedicated. Um, this way you can install the new card. If you install the card before you do this, you will have some serious issues. Um, I'm going to go ahead and disable that and shut down my PC and I will see you guys in a second. Okay, among the very first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove rear screws for the side case here. Uh, for many of them you can just use these thumbnails. A lot of custom built computers will use uh, these thumb screws just like this. If you don't have one of those, such as you have an HP or a Dell manufactured case, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver um, or the hex screwdriver. Uh, once those screws are removed, just pull off the side panel. Okay, once the case door is removed, first thing you want to do, obviously, is identify where your graphics card is located. Um, now, a lot of cases are held together very differently. This particular case, you'll notice two uh, screws just right here holding in the graphics cards. And then you have the PCI Express rail straight in the back. So we're going to go ahead and remove those screws. Be careful not to drop these screws as sometimes they can fall inside of uh, power supplies, especially if your power supply is mounted at the bottom of your case. So, now that we and uh, get the second screw off, alright, once I got the second screw off, ah, be careful, like I said, not to drop these, they are pretty light. Um, in the very back, there is kind of difficult to see, a clip for the PCI Express rail. You need to get your fingers back there to release that clip. It's kind of like a little doggle. It's not too difficult to get your hands on. So once you, usually I find it easiest to do it with one hand, then have the other hand holding the bottom of the graphics card, and then it just slides right out like that. Now, remember, if you do have some of these larger graphics cards, you will have to remove the six pin connectors from the rear, right here. Which there's little clips, they'll come right off just like that. It's got a little push in. And they will, a lot of graphics cards, at least some of the more heavy duty ones, will have two of those pre-installed. Now, since we are upgrading to a dual graphics card system, we will go ahead and remove the bottom rails for the next graphics card we're putting in. I in general find it easiest, um, at least with some of the newer cards, the pin connectors for these cards are located here, so you can put these in after um, you have installed the cards, whereas the other ones you had to put them in previously. Okay. Alright, it's one that's clicked in. Let's grab the second one. Okay. 
Now we have the second card right here. Go ahead and move this wire out of the way. Let's see, there we go. Pull this right over here out of the way. And just slide it in right like this. Okay. All right, we got the second card in. Now the PCI rails will generally be able to hold up the cards without a problem, but the second you do get them in, my recommendation would be go ahead and just screw them right in. That way, you don't have any chance of them falling. That way you don't break your expensive cards that you just bought. <laughs> so I'll get one in the top of each and then I'll put in the secondary. Connect my sound bar over here. All right. Now the next thing to do is locate your PCI Express adapters. Now with a lot of these, especially with this graphics card, since it does have a lot more juice than my previous one needed, you will need to uh, have an 8 pin and a single 6 pin adapter in your power supply which a lot of times the, the power supplies will come with the predetermined adapters for it so go ahead snap this on and get one plug in just like that man we will do the one right next to it. And then the slot right above it. So, we now have our screws in to hold the graphics cards in, as well as our power plugs. Now, contrary to a very popular belief, uh, SLI and Crossfire are incredibly easy to set up, as I'm gonna do it in about two seconds. Hey, we're done setting up Crossfire. All you need to set up Crossfire as well as SLI is the ribbons that will go between the two graphics cards right here to mount them. And that's all that's needed to set up Crossfire as well as SLI. Uh, the software for the actual computer that comes with the graphics cards will handle all the rest. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the case up and I will see you on my computer in a minute. Hey guys, Joe here from Design by Octane and we're back on my computer now. Um, now that the graphics cards have been successfully installed and the crossfire bridges have been inserted along with the PCI Express power plugs being put in. Um, it's pretty much all set to go. All you have to do now is simply insert the driver disk that came with the card and install the software. Uh, and then once it's done, uh, simply go to device manager and double check the cards have installed successfully. Make sure there's no little flags uh, and then you're all set to go. Um, well, this has been Joe from Design by Octane, and that's how you install uh, and upgrade graphics cards as well as set up Crossfire and SLI. Uh, please remember to subscribe, like, and favorite this video. Um, for all upcoming videos, make sure you sub. Later, guys.